welcome on the VST channel, Velia Speaks Tech guys, Velia here. Yesterday, quite the news, the Samsung S21 series received the One UI 4 Beta 2. There are some improvements, right? But two of the main things are smoother animation, virtual RAM added and for the first time ever in the history, Samsung adopted the Material U design, which we know really is from Google and of course it runs on the Google Pixel phones. So guys, what we are gonna do in this video, I've downloaded the leaked Pixel 6 Pro wallpapers, which are by the way stunning, and I'm going to just use the same wallpapers on both those phones and just trying to see what changes on the Samsung One UI on my S21 Ultra and just see how well it is adopted or not on my Pixel phone. Now you need to to know something, so I need to set the scene here. This is just the second beta, which means Android 12, right? One way four, beta two running on Android 12. As to here, we have the beta five running on the Android 12 again, and this has reached platform stability, which pretty much means like 90% stable. Here, I would say 20, 30, right? So just bear this in mind. There's gonna be more developments over the time, but all right, I just wanna compare the status right now. When you enter the wallpaper settings on both phones, you just see here, right, that you have the lock screen and your home screen. That's what's presented, right, so lock screen, home screen, right? Then you have the options to go and choose your wallpaper, right? And then we have something on the Samsung called the color theme, which is actually this option to choose a theme based on colors from your wallpaper. As to on the Pixel phone, it's directly integrated under the main menu. So let me just click here the color theme and then you'll see what happens, right? So on the Samsung phone, right, we can always go and choose, this is the standard theme, right? The standard coloring. My first main observation is just check the icons here. Right. I think they're all stretched somehow, doesn't really look quite nice, but hey, it is what it is. And then you have one, two, three, four options. Now all these colors are really taken from your wallpaper. On the Pixel phone, we have this one, which is probably the standard. Then we have one, okay, we have two, three, and four. So about the same, but you can notice there is a variety of colors that the Pixel phone is able to offer you, which are not yet found on the Samsung. And when I say not yet found, yes, maybe in the next betas, it's gonna get better. So it seems that the material you on the Pixel Android 12 is still running a bit better, just giving you plenty of options. Now, when you go down below into the Pixel phone, you have the dark theme, right, which you can apply right straight from here. And you have also the options to theme your icons. And I have shown this um, on my Android 12 reviews. See here, some of the icons really get themed. These options are not present yet here on the Samsung One UI and we don't know if this is going to happen, right, to ever happen. All right, so this is gonna be the preset of this video again. I'll test some very beautiful wallpapers coming from the Pixel 6 Pro on both phones. And I decided that the other best thing for me to share, guys, is the calculator application. Because the calculator application, here we have the Samsung stock calculator, right, it's not Another one is the stock one. And on the Pixel, which is the Android 12 stock calculator, are also adapting the color that you choose. Or let's say the palette you choose. All right, so let's start using some wallpapers. The second beautiful wallpaper we are gonna use is this very nice and greenish wallpaper. So I'm just setting it here as well. I'm gonna press down, all right? You immediately see there is a change on the Pixel phone. Now, already embracing the colors. On the Samsung phone, I'm gonna choose lock and home screen. And now the one you will present this in front of our eyes, which I have to say looks also amazing. I'm not sure if you can see this quite well on the camera, but we have this greenish hue here, which is just astonishing right and you can just see how it's gonna look on the lock screen and the home screen you can do the same here on the pixel and by the way on the pixel also the clock present on the lock screen is adapting the material UI now I'm gonna press here set lock and home screen right see here clock is still white set unlock and home screen and now boom we get this menu right same here set wallpaper home lock or a bolt I'm gonna choose bold, and now we're going to enter in the same menu. Wallpaper is already set, right? Now we need to schedule the color theme. This is the default one, all right? I'm gonna set the default one, okay? And I just wanna show you guys, I'm gonna enter one more time back here. So you see, those are the colors that actually the pixel is offering you, right? If I go here, again, we have the original style, and we have these three options. Now there is also another difference. The pixel is offering you wallpaper colors derived from the wallpaper, but you can also go to basic colors and just choose this. 
and believe it or not, it will make a huge difference. What I also like is that the Pixel is giving you this preview, which is very, very nice, and I do hope that Samsung will implement the same. Because see here, when I choose this one, for example, right, I just see that, uh, or choose that one, yeah, it's not so intuitive. But okay, let me just go and set here this lila color, and I'm gonna choose here this one on the Pixel, okay, and I'm gonna go outside in the main screen, so same wallpaper. Let's check the volume rocker on the Pixel phone, very, very beautiful, but when you click inside, you know, we just get this old style of volumes and I hate it. On the Samsung phone, for some reason, you see, my colors are not changing. I just think that there are some YouTubers that have better luck. So no change here, all right? Next thing we want to compare is here the quick tiles, all right? So quick tiles are a bit different because I've chosen different palettes. But hey, you can just see here all the toggles really changed. The brightness bar also is changing. Here's, here's the yellow one, here's the green one. And okay, now the second test, let's just go inside the calculator. And I'm just going to do this like in real time. Time, so I'm just gonna scroll down like this All right go into the calculator boom the new color is adapted in real time this time I'm gonna choose something different so let's go for that one here as well right so I'm gonna press down on my Samsung I'm gonna set it up both on lock and home screen which I'm pretty much doing on the pixel and then again we see the pixel already embracing this so we can just see the change happening but the Samsung phone is also by the way the Samsung phone is also giving this representation which I think is a bit better like I just like the way it looks so I'm just gonna set it up on the home screen and etc and then you can just see like the colors are being adapted and you can set the color team all right so color team set you see all the toggles are like this all right so let's just go guys and see how the quick toggles look like now of course on the stock pixel phone with Android 12 stock you just have these very very big buttons um, honestly I'm not a big fan of these very big buttons maybe they should have been like 40% smaller here though we have the standard classic view the brightness bar again has changed so it seems that it's all working quite well let's just go inside the settings menu guys and see what happens inside settings because here here inside on the Samsung phone but also on the Pixel phone we are getting this background which is almost transparent but I can still see with my own eyes that the color changed now let's go in the calculator and see the change happening in real time three two one boom all right see this now is this uniform design language the material UI so although this is a Samsung stock calculator application it is embracing some of the design elements now maybe Google is doing it better maybe Google are approaching things differently but it does work so let's just go back into the settings and try to check the toggles guys if we go here into the settings so let's go to connections let's go here to network and internet so see here we have this new style of toggles if I go here to my Wi-Fi for example we should be able to see the same right so let's just change this one all right see okay pretty much the same and what can I tell you guys I believe for Samsung this is only the start but let's go and continue with the next wallpaper let's choose a very bright and funny wallpaper with a banana yes that's right a banana I'm gonna press down here I'm gonna set home and lock screen right and you can then immediately see and that's the best part I like from the Samsung phone when you do this they put this blur on the background and it looks very nice when you use on the pixel phone I would say it's not so sophisticated but the main benefit is that it does get applied almost immediately and then you can just see it on the toggles all right so let's just set it up on the lock screen and the home screen and let's just explore what option we have right now my findings are that Samsung somehow is taking a bit more colors from the dark palette as to the pixel phone is taking lighter colors which probably is not a bad thing but okay let's just go and let's choose this one right and then let's just set the color team here and there I want to show you something else here I'm using the Samsung stock keyboard and here I'm using of course the Google Gboard and the color is changing as well which is quite quite nice all right let's now do the calculator test so I'm gonna go inside the pixel phone as well three two one changing immediately. I know a lot of guys out there doesn't like the material you 
and for me it's not just gimmick right it just gives you a very pleasant and very easy option to customize your phone because remember Samsung already had it but you have to install theme park which is a module for good luck and not all the users out there yeah want to go that way but let's continue with the wallpapers testing let's go with this one here selected on the pixel see this is the pixel preview and this is the Samsung preview now you need to press lock and home screen but then you're gonna get it and if I need to compare this with that I would say my heart goes with Samsung and One UI just because they produce this very nice and blurred background but with the colors from the wallpaper right benefit on the pixel is perhaps that you can see how the buttons are gonna look like so set on lock at home screen do the same here okay so on the Samsung phone you are immediately presented with the color team options when you do it on the pixel you just get to set it but then you are entering directly your home screen I want to go back and now see the options right the other thing missing from the Samsung One UI is that you are not presented with an option to choose basic colors as to on the pixel phone you can just go guys and just use you know some basic colors which also gives you plenty of options for customization and guys let's just go and directly do the calculated test in three two one you know boom all right okay immediately things have changed now let's go and let's just see how a new conversation would look like okay here boom <laughs> change on the pixel phone but for some reason yeah not changed on my Samsung phone well it seems that on the Samsung phone only this element changed but then when I entered dark mode and went back to the light mode then we got the right thing speaking about dark mode let's do a test with dark mode on and guys let's use this wallpaper because I think it just looks amazing on this black theme at all so look and home screen look and home screen we have this view here on the pixel again samsung phone beats the pixel here i think the overview here is better pixel behaves quite nice when you're in the dark team but when you're on the light team i think the preview is better on the samsung phone i'm gonna set it up i'm gonna set it up here then the other part i don't like when you set it up you just go directly to your home screen as to on the samsung phone you are still left with the option to go and choose the color but then guys here again my observation the samsung phone is always going for a dark palette as to on the pixel phone with the stock android you have lighter palettes right okay so let's just see what we can do that will kind of look the same all right let's go with this one i'm gonna set the color team here okay it's already preset on the pixel now when you go here again the bar will look amazing then you're gonna get this which is yeah it's just just not looking good let's just see how the quick toggles look like very big buttons here right but see also elements change here but here they changed again this is part of the theme brightness bar again let's do one calculator test okay opening it and you see a dark color and also material you enabled okay let's also go into the search now when you go inside the search potentially some of the things here also have changed the whole design is uniform if you would have asked me for an opinion i would say it's just too soon to give like a final conclusion i just think that google is doing it better at the moment right now although samsung do have some clever ideas on their own i would like to see in the next betas the option to choose not only a color team but from the wallpaper but also from the basic colors and i would also very happily see samsung to embrace lighter palettes and not just the dark colors and of course I would like also to see my volume bar rocking here on the pixel I would like to see really like normal volume rocker bars and not these things and guys if you have enjoyed this video boom like the video share it with your friends I really hope that you and your families stay safe until we meet on one of your next videos with that said VST over and out.